Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about solutions to systems of linear equations. Okay. So before we proceed with that, let's just I'll just give you an example or um an idea what systems of linear uh, systems of linear equations are. So basically you will be encountering at some point in your uh, in your mathematical career examples like this. Um, say x plus 2 is equals to y and x minus y is equals to 3. Okay, so these are you know, examples of systems of linear equations and what you need to do here is you need to determine whether are, they, uh, are there any solutions that will satisfy this um, system. Meaning, there are only exactly one value for x and exactly one value for y even though there are two equations. Okay, because there are cases for example, x plus 2 is equals to y. So we can assume that x is equals to say um, 1 and y is equals to 3. So therefore 1 plus 2 is equals to 3, therefore 3 is equals to 3. So therefore this value satisfies the first equation. But on this case in systems, this value must also satisfy the, next, the second equation. Being, if your x is still 1 here, 1 minus 3 is equals to 3 and 1 minus 3 is equals to negative 2 is equals to 3 therefore this is not satisfied this is satisfied but this is not okay so that is the concept of systems of linear equations you must find a solution that will satisfy both equations okay so there are actually a lot as well like maybe we have three equations or more okay so as for this saying um what, what we will be doing today is we will determine whether the given solution is a, um, the given um, coordinates, value for x and y, is a solution to the given system. Okay? So we will be testing, testing values. We're not solving yet, uh, we're just simply testing values of x and y. Okay? So what would happen here now is, of course, um, you will be given the following um, ex kinds of examples. Say you have 1 and 1. This is the solution, by the way. This is the solution. Okay. And our system would be x plus 2y is equals to 3 and 2x plus y is equals to 3. So this is your system. So how do we check whether the solution works or not? We check whether the solution works or not by just simply substituting substituting the value of x and y to the system. So meaning yun lang, substitute nyo lang. So what would happen here would be if we know that the x and y is both 1 or x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 1 based on the solution here. And based on this one, we just simply need to substitute in the uh, in in our system. So in our system, our x all the x would become one. So we if we are substituting, we put parentheses okay. Two times one is equals to three, and our x here would become also one, and our y would also become one, and this is equals to three. Okay, and then you test it out. So one plus uh, one times one. Sorry, 1 plus 2 times 1, this would be simply 2. This would be 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. And this is equals to, in turn, would become 3 is equals to 3. Now, in this case, 2 times 1, here, 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 here. 2 times 1 is, of course, 2. Plus 1 is equals to 3. And, of course, 2 plus 1 is also equals to 3. So, 3 is equals to 3. If they are both satisfied for, ano, for the two cases, I mean, the solution is satisfied for the two cases of the system therefore we can assume that therefore we can assume that 1 and 1 is a solution to the system it's that easy by substituting okay so let's try another one um, say we have 3 and 2 3 and 2 and our system it's just simply 3x minus y is equals to 7 and x plus 4y is equals to 11. So what we will do, we will substitute, okay? So let's substitute in a different way, okay? 
So we have 3 and 2 and our equation is sorry. And our equation is 3x minus y is equal to 7. This is our first equation. Okay? So this would be 3 times 3 minus 2 is equal to 7. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. And 9 minus 2 is equals to 7. So we have satisfied the first one. So we are good. So we only need to check this one. Okay? So checking this one, let's go to number 2. We still have 3 and 2, and we have the equation of x plus 4y is equals to 11. Okay, so now let's try. So our x would still be 3, and our y would be 2. So plus 4 times 2 equals to 11. So 4 times 2 is equals to 8. So we have 3 plus 8 is equals to 11, and 3 plus 8 will give us 11 is equals to 11. Satisfied? Yes. Therefore, here is also satisfied. Then, if they are both satisfied, then we can say that 3 and 2 is a solution to the system. Okay? So, next example. So, madali lang siya actually. You're just checking whether tama ba siya or mali. Ganun lang po, class. Okay? So, let's have another one. Say we have 0 and 5. And our system would be 5x minus 2y. Sorry. Okay. It's equals to 10. And we have x minus 3y is equals to negative 15. Checking the system again from the first equation. Okay. 0, 5. Sorry. Let me fix my comma. 0. Oh, sorry. 0 and 5, and we have the equation of 5x minus 2y is equal to 10. This will give us 5 times 0, kasi x is 0, minus 2 times, ang y natin is 5, is equal to 10. Am I correct? Yan, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Next, 5 times 0 is of course 5. Okay? Next. I, I mean, sorry, 5 times 0 is equal to 0 pala. Sorry. Minus. 2 times 5 is 10 is equals to 10. Sinusulat lang natin. We are writing whatever we are not evaluating. And 0 minus 10 is equals to negative 10. And they are definitely not equal, right? If it is not equal, then this would not be a solution. This given 0, 5 is not a solution for the first equation. And that is where you stop, okay? The thing about system of linear equations, the solution must be consistent for the first and second if it is not consistent for the first, automatically, we can assume that 0 and 5 is not a solution to the system. Ganun lang class. If it, not, if it does not work out for the first one, it definitely, if, even if it works on the second one, even if it works here, it does not matter. Kasi the... the the thing about the systems is they must be satisfied for both, okay? Just like, for example, when you are with your, I know, with, I mean, you have a twin, yan. If you have a twin, and just to be fair, okay, whatever your twin gets, you should also get so that there would be no jealousy between the two of you. The same goes for the systems. If it works for the first one, then it must work for the second one. Because if it does not work, then you need to find for another solution. Okay, and that would be, of course, for another topic. Let's have our last example for the solutions. Say we have 4 and... And maybe let's have something complicated. Let me check. Okay, so again, let's have this. Okay, negative 1 and 2. And we have our system as 4x is equals to negative 2 minus y and our next one is x plus 7y is equals to 13. First equation, second equation. Let's check whether they are, um, let's check whether the solution is consistent for both or not. Okay? First ex equation, our um, point is negative 1 and 2. Our equation is 4x is equals to negative 2 minus y Substitution po, 4 times negative 1 is equals to negative 2 minus 2. 
Okay? 4 times negative 1 is, of course, negative 4. And negative 2 minus 2, the answer is negative 4. Satisfied? Yes. First one is correct. Now, if we get the number 2, second equation correct as well, then we can assume that this point or this solution, uh, this point is a solution for the system. Okay? Number 2. We have negative 1 and 2 still. And our equation would be x plus 7y is equals to 13. So we will have negative 1 plus 7 times 2 is equals to 13. Negative 1, still negative 1. 7 times 2 is 14. Negative 1 plus 14 is 13. And 13 is equals to 13. Checks out. All is good and balanced. Therefore, this is a solution for the second equation. Next, if they are both correct, if they are both a solution, then we can assume that negative 1 and 2 is a solution to the system. Okay? And that is how you check or test whether a given um, point is a solution to the system or not. Okay? So I do hope that you got our lesson for today. If you would have any other questions, you can um, check the video again. Pwede nang ulit ulitin yan. Or you can chat me in our group chat. Thank you again everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.